The Knowledge Alliance for Advanced Urbanism creates a space in which companies and students can come together and explore the techniques and emerging trends in advanced urbanism. And uh, it's already having a positive effect. The students get the opportunity to uh, explore issues that business is interested in. And on the other side, the companies get the opportunity to explore issues, network and even experiment in areas of advanced urbanism that they wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to do. Our project focuses on the implementation of advanced technologies in our European cities through specific case studies as for example Barcelona, Genova or Montpellier. In those cities we address the most important issues as for example flooding in Genova or short-term accommodation management in Barcelona. We invite municipal representatives to take part to our activities in order to have their feedback and to give them insights for planning the future of our cities. Multidisciplinarity is becoming a key aspect on the exercise of envisioning but also applying innovative ideas for the future cities. That is also why the participation of the different industries that serve as partners in the Knowledge Alliance for Advanced Urbanism project has been very crucial during the Responsive Cities Symposium. It's very important for the School of Architecture of Montpellier to be involved in the CAO project because it permits us uh, with the students to go and travel um, uh, thanks to the summer school and to see uh, the um, innovative partners. It was also very interesting for us that the partner came uh, to Montpellier for the symposium and to create debates with the students. We ran a three days workshop uh, for the CAO program uh, in December and uh, our main focus was to teach students uh, how to look to uh, new tools and new technology at public spaces and for this reason we teach them uh, uh, computation, uh, virtual reality. Our main goal was to not only to teach them those tools but also to uh, question their usage of this new technology into the understanding of all the complex layers that uh, are binded uh, in the public space. Semir aims to build up a tech tool on city management for short-term vacational rentals. The seminar was unfolded by different lecturers, among some of them were from city council, politicians and technicians. The technology used by the student has been based on data. The benefits of the project has been to build up a dynamic urban planning tool Second, to build up you know, a real-time management of legality, uh, taxes, uh, legal fulfillment, so safety. And the third, to build up you know, a tool for uh, citizen participation on urban processes. In this seminar, we have invited uh, architects and engineers from the local council of Barcelona, uh, people that have been uh, personally involved in one of the most uh, complex projects in the city right now, which is the renewal of the Diagonal Avenue and the uh, construction of a tramway. We expect that the students from IAG will learn uh, the complexity of a urban design and engineering project as well as the people from the local council will, will get new insights and fresh ideas on how to deal with a project like this one. Uh, in our summer uh, workshop we have uh, uh, explored uh, in different uh, propositions, different uh, uh, processes. We have worked with users, we have worked with citizens, we have worked with professionals also, but we have worked with associations of neighbors, with the uh, uh, city of uh, Genova and with the administration to explore together this, kind, uh, this new kind of tools able to increase uh, convivial governance that uh, is implicated with a new advanced uh, paradigm. This year we hosted the Cow Summer Workshop here at IAC in Barcelona, where we developed smart urban furniture with the students. The project was located in the Superblock, which is actually located in an area of Barcelona called the 22 At District, where the municipality uses this area as a test bed to implement larger scale strategies in the future. What is interesting is that these prototypes have the potential to then be diffused in the city of Barcelona, upscaling the project itself. 
So there are three audiences really for the work of the Cal project. So one is uh, representatives from industry, uh, one is students, and the other are people from mun municipalities in cities. And all three set to benefit from the program of events and symposia that we have. We have something like two or three hundred people attending the uh, four symposia that we have had so far, and then we have groups of 15 or 16 students uh, attending the workshops and the summer schools. Uh, the feedback has been so far very positive. Uh, people attending the seminars and the workshops have really found the case studies very engaging. Um, we've had requests to make the workshops a little bit more interactive and so we're using all this feedback to help improve and build the seminars and the workshops that we'll be having in future.